please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. I'm Hannah Shirey. And I'm Carter Kent. Today is Wednesday, February 28th. Coming up, Falcon Foundation grants are due on March 15th, and we have a student who took advantage of this opportunity. Also, Hannah Shirey sat down with Lorenzo Prieto Balamino to find out more about his experiences as a foreign exchange student. We will be right back with all of this and your school news. In class news, the South Lebanon Elementary PTP Scholarship will award two $1,000 scholarships to CCHS seniors who attended South Lebanon Elementary School for third, fourth, and fifth grade. There is only a short essay required. Applications in, and information available in the counseling office and on the South Lebanon webpage. The deadline is March 9, 2018. Seniors, the class of 2018 is going to Ocean City, New Jersey. In order to go on the class trip, you need to pay your class dues. See Mrs. Sullivan in room 809 with your dues. The Good Samaritan Hospital has a summer volunteer opportunities that can fulfill your Project Life job shadow requirement. Positions are limited, so if you are interested, apply soon. Complete, complete the online application at wellspan.org slash volunteer. Juniors or seniors, Reading Hospital School of Health Sciences offers a three-day Discover Nursing experience. This program limits the number of students accepted, so make sure to stop by in the counseling office soon for application materials. Juniors, if you like challenges, enjoy being part of a team, and want to learn more about how to be a leader, then the Rotary Youth Leadership Awards Conference is the place for you this summer. The conference is held at Messiah College in June, and all fees are paid by the Rotary Club. Stop in the counseling office or ask your counselor for more information. The deadline is March 9th. In club news, today is activity period week four. Battle Buddies will be meeting in the cafe today during activity period. Any student is welcome to attend. Drama Club, the deadline for the New York trip has been extended to Friday. <laughs> Please see Dr. Dernert or Mrs. Haynes today if you need a trip form. Minithon Communications Committee will have an important meeting during activity period in the cafe. Please try to be there. Pick up your Minithon packet and pre-register with at least $60 in donations before March 18th to receive a free t-shirt. Packets can be found in the main office, the library, and the perch. Minithon will be held on April 13th. Do it for the kids. There will be an FCC meeting in the LGI during activity period today. Come be challenged and inspired. All interested students are welcome. The counseling office is looking for a couple of more students to tutor over at the middle school. Flexible schedules to fit your needs. Come to the counseling office for more information. Students who are interested in wildlife and or fisheries convention. There is an opportunity for you to become a certified conversation ambassador by attending a five-day residential summer field school which will focus on white-tailed deer, bass, brook trout, ruffled grouse, or turkey. Stop by the counseling office for more information. In school news, the annual St. Patrick's Day carnation sale will be starting on Thursday. Carnations are $2 each. You can choose between gold, which means I love you, green, I like you, or white, I'd like to know you. Orders will be taken in the 200 hall before homeroom and during lunches in the cafe from March 1st to the 8th. Delivery will be Friday, March 16th. So Hannah, are you going to be getting anyone a carnation? I'll probably get a few of my friends one just to support the cause. Do you want a better parking spot? This week, teachers are raffling off their parking spots. You can purchase tickets at lunches to try to win a teacher parking spot for next week. The switch will happen for the week of March 5th through the 9th. There are over 40 spots up for grab. The more tickets you buy, the better chance to win a spot. Winners will be announced on Friday, March 2nd on the morning announcements. You only have today and tomorrow to buy your raffle tickets. 
The Lemnon County Bar Association is sponsoring an essay contest worth $250. The essay prompt and rules are available in the counseling office. The Falcon Foundation offers students and faculty grants for, of up to $1,000 to attend extracurricular activities and summer camps. Correspondent Reagan Harvey talked to senior Adam Wolf, who was given a grant last summer to attend a summer running camp. I went to Colorado to Boulder running camps. We ran under the like advisory of these D1 athletes. It was really nice. We got to stay on the campus of University of Colorado Boulder. They supplied meals and we got to run on the trails out there and it was really nice, very scenic. So it was a really cool experience. I would recommend Boulder running camps for anyone that would want to further their running career. The Falcon Foundation, it was like really easy to apply for, so it was really nice. They gave me like a lot of money toward the experience. It was very affordable for me then. Hi, my name is Adam Wolf, and I'm so thankful that the Falcon Foundation allowed me to attend Boulder Running Camps. Carter, have you ever thought about applying for a Falcon Foundation grant? Well, my friends and I were actually thinking about it a little while ago. We might go to a film camp this summer. That sounds cool. Applications are available on the district website as well as the guidance office. The applications are due March 15th and require two recommendations, so get started right away. There are some great events coming up that help you explore future careers. The Allentown Regional College Fair will be held today at Cedar Crest College. There will be two sessions for this event, one in the morning and one in the evening. Over 100 colleges, universities, and technical schools will be attending each of these events. No pre-registration is required for students to attend. See Mrs. Follett in the College and Career Center with questions. On Thursday, March 15th, the Lancaster County Regional College Fair will be held at Millersville University from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. On Saturday, March 24th, a Forensic Science Symposium will be held at Cedar Crest College in Allentown. The all-day event is free for you and a guest to attend, with lunch included, but you must register online by March 19th. See Mrs. Follett in the College and Career Center. The George Washington University in Washington, D.C. has summer camps such as week-long natural disasters and moder <coughs> modern surveillance programs. Others are two, three, or six weeks in length and cover topics such as robotics, national security, sports management, introduction to medicine, American politics, arts, the global refugee crisis, and STEM. To discover all the options, visit precollege.gwu.edu. <laughs> In sports news, the Falcon Ice hockey teams play for the Roth Rock Division Championship at Hershey Park Arena this Saturday at 3 p.m. Admission is $5 and parking is free. Come out and cheer on the Falcons and our seniors, Nick Kreiser, Drew Seifer, and Adam Hartman in their last high school game. If you are interested in becoming a lifeguard, a class will be held in March. Registration forms are in the high school office. Complete the form and turn it in to the athletic secretary. Registration form is due by March 9th with the start date of the class March 14th. Yesterday, we spoke to one of our foreign exchange students, Blanca Garcia. But Blanca is not the only stu exchange student in Cedar Crest. Lorenzo Prieto Balamino is also here from Spain, and I sat down with him to learn more about his experience. Hello, guys. <laughs> How are you? My name is Lorenzo Prieto Balamino. I think what made me decide to be an exchange student was my sister, my parents, and my own decision. My sister was also an exchange student, and she told me that it was a great experience for her, so I wanted to do it too. I really like living with my host family right now. Uh, I am living with Mrs. Gore and her husband, and they have been really nice with me. I really like the house, how they treat me. The dogs, the cats, <laughs> I'm really happy. I really like everything here, so that's cool. You're really proud of being in Cedar Crest, being a student here, which is really different in Spain, because people just go to study there in the school and don't care about anything more else. It's like, here you care about sports, about the people. I think school is harder in Spain, because in Spain, all you do is a study. You don't do like classes like TSA seminar or electricity and small engines. The people here is like nicer than people in Spain. You can like make friends easier. My school is not that big at all. It's like three times smaller and that's crazy. I'm in math club, I'm in ping pong club, I'm actually swimming for the team. I really like the school here. I prefer, I really prefer the school. Friday is Dr. Seuss's birthday. 
In honor of his birthday, Read Across America Week and Dr. Seuss's fun book, Fox and <laughs> Sock Students, are asked to bring in a pair of new socks to be donated to those in need. <laughs> socks must be brought in by Friday. Oh, Rachel Ander and Elias Rivers report to Mr. Schwalm's room in room 113 after the announcements. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Carter Ken. And I'm Hannah Shirey. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.